Jennifer Ryan and I are best friends. In fact, we're closer than friends. We're like sisters. I know everything about her. Like, I know her favorite color is indigo and that her Patronus is a baby seal. <laughs> I know all of her deepest secrets. Like, she wet the bed in eighth grade. And that she kissed Mike Stevens under the flagpole even though he was dating Marnie Reinhold at the time. But Jennifer knows I would never tell a soul. When Jennifer confides one of her secrets with me, I keep it locked up in a special place in my heart. Even if Jennifer murdered someone in cold blood, I would never tell the authorities. <laughs> Jennifer and I used to have sleepovers all the time. I used to get down on my knees and pray every night that the Ryan family would adopt me, but unless my parents die in a car crash or get poisoned or have a terrible accident before I turn 18, that will never happen. <laughs> and when we're not hanging out, I'm always calling her on the phone. This is the seventh time you called in one hour her dad told me one time, but I can't help it. <laughs> I can't go to sleep until Jennifer knows everything I did that day. We haven't had slumber parties in a while because she's been spending a lot of time with her lab partner, Stacy Ann Cowgoody. <laughs> but Stacy Ann is very plain and she smells like a barn. <laughs> she doesn't know Jennifer at all. Stacy Ann's a little bitch! <laughs> you have your friends, and then you have your best friends. And Jennifer Ryan is mine. But some people at school are super jealous of how close Jennifer and I are. They write mean things in my locker and they pass nasty notes in class. Like one of the notes in my locker said, lesbian stalker. <laughs> I laugh so hard at that one. Like I need to stalk my best friend since kindergarten. <laughs> I keep telling people I'm not a lesbian. Like my old boyfriend Jared will tell you that. But he's hard to get a hold of because he lives in Kentucky and he doesn't have social media and he doesn't have a phone that can take pictures and that's why I don't have any photos of him. We were very private about our relationship. <laughs> Sometimes that's how Jennifer and I are about our friendship. We don't always have to talk to each other in front of other people. When she walks by me in the hallway and doesn't even look at me, I have the biggest smile on my face because I know that we're best friends. And best friends means forever. <laughs> I love playing practical jokes on Jennifer. Sometimes I hide in the bushes outside of her bedroom window for hours and hours just waiting to pop out and give her a good scare. I can be really patient when I have to be, but sometimes it's so hard to keep from laughing that I have to cover my mouth to cram all those giggles in. <laughs> Last time I saw Jennifer, we got into a little bit of a fight. Um, it was on Halloween. Her family's very religious, so I knew they would be at their church's fall festival. So I broke into Jennifer's house to try on all of her clothes. So I snuck in through the kitchen window and I went up to her bedroom. It always bothered me that even though we're best friends, there were never any pictures of me on her walls. There are pictures of boys and celebrities and some even Stacy Ann Cow Goody, but none of me. <laughs> As I stood there in her bedroom, I saw all their faces smiling at me reflected in the two vanity mirrors. So I picked up those vanity mirrors and I smashed them. And then I dug into her makeup drawer and I pulled out a tube of dark red lipstick and I twisted it open and I smeared a big bloody X all over everyone's faces. I dug deep red holes in their eyes and I drew on crooked frowns. I pressed the lipstick deep and hard into the photos, pushing it to the wall until it broke. Hilarious. <laughs> when Jennifer got home and saw her wall, she knew it was me. She caught up with me outside, but I was laughing so hard that I accidentally bumped her with my car. But she only broke one of her legs, and she was in a coma for like six weeks, so I know she'll get over it. <laughs> I've been thinking about Jennifer so much lately because the doctors here have been asking me lots of questions about all the stuff that we used to do together. And the lady who distributes the mail says, I haven't gotten any letters from Jennifer, but I know that she's lying. She's just like Stacey Ann, a jealous bitch! <laughs> I wouldn't trust her if I were you. You can trust me. I mean, we are roommates after all. Maybe we could be friends. We could be best friends. You know you can tell me anything, right? We have so much to talk about. Will you tell me all of your darkest secrets? Do you promise? <laughs>